In this Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can model this. And basically, I was searching in the web and found this image. So I thought that uh, we can easily make this in Grasshopper. So I'm going to show you how to make this. Uh, we can increase or decrease the layers, as you can see here. And we can also simply just increase the depths of the sections, as you can see here. And finally, we will have the extrusions which is really easy and you can finally have them which is this so we're going to start from scratch and i'm going to explain how you can model this in grasshopper before we start our grasshopper tutorial for those who are new to our channel i'm going to just give you a quick tip to know more about grasshopper so i'm going to put these two videos in the card section the first one is what is grasshopper 3d watch this if you want to know more about grasshopper and the difference between this grasshopper thing with other softwares and 3d modeling softwares the next one is the grasshopper for beginners tutorials which is uh, one hour and i encourage you to watch this one it's going to give you many tips and tricks which you can uh, learn to enter the grasshopper world and also have a quick introduction into grasshopper and learn more from our grasshopper tutorials so uh, first of all i'm going to start with a plane on the ground and i'm going to go to the surface and choose this rectangular plane corner so here we go we can just choose this and draw it on the ground and i'm going to rebuild this so type rebuild and give this the UV count. So let's just say OK. And after that, we can simply just uh, choose this and uh, show the control points on. So I'm going to turn the control points on. And what I want to use to uh, model this deformation is simply a command called soft move. So we have talked about this in different tutorials i will also put another tutorial which is related to this in the card section so check out the card section but for now uh, we can simply just draw a curve in here we can just draw this let's say that we want to make a deformation around this curve so i'm going to turn on the control points and say soft move so you can see that if you type soft we have the soft move command here and we can simply okay we have to delete this soft move and for selecting the objects I'm going to choose everything uh, but not the curve so remember you have to choose the control points and hit enter or space and then we are going to focus on the curve section so what we want to do is to choose the curves so here we go and select the curve and space or enter or right click okay so the next uh, step is to just define the radius so i'm going to define the radius and bring this a little bit up and you can always change these control points and uh, have different results so you can see that you can control that you can change the location of the curve and also change the height so right click and i'm done so we can just simply just uh, turn on the uh, points off right click on the control points and we have something similar to this okay so i'm going to rotate this 90 degrees up here and let's just move this uh, from this corner to zero so it's going to be on the zero i'm deleting this curve you can also model this in grasshopper if you want a parametric curve so because it's going to take a while if we want to make this in grasshopper i just made a simple tutorial so you can see that you can deform that you can also watch the uh, curve attractor uh, we have talked about the curve attractor also in the course so for those who want to know more about the point curve image attractor and many things they can watch the course for those who want a tutorial uh, I guess that you can uh, watch. I will put also another tutorial up here, which is related to attractors and deformation. So you can uh, produce something like this. So let's just scale this a little bit. So maybe we want to just uh, make a surface based on this. So you can see that you can produce many different models. So we can import this in Grasshopper. We can go to the Params menu and import this as a surface. So here we go and i'm going to set this okay let's just put the bifocals plug in 
on here so you can see this okay i'm going to set this to the surface and let's just hide this so here we have the surface okay uh, first what we have to do is to simply just use the control tool to produce the curves so i'm going to just type in c o n t and here we have the contour which is based on a surface or a solid or a curve which we want this one so let's just type this the shape is going to be the surface the point we want to start the contour is basically the default is 000, zero, zero uh, which you can see here and i guess that's fine for this but if you want to you can simply just extract this and change the location of the point but this is just turn this off okay the next is the direction we can simply just define a z direction because we want to uh, contour this in the z direction you can also give another direction if you want you can just simply draw a line okay and let's just rotate this line and go to the curve section here and let's import this set one curve and if you give this the direction this will be the direction so you can always change and define a new direction if you want and the distance let's just define a distance and here we have this so you can see how easy it is to uh, make a contour section of this you can just rotate this and produce different results or just simply give the z direction and just uh, have the sections like this which is easily uh, giving you the sections you want to build to produce that so let's just go to the next step and what we need here let's just peel it off we need a little bit of thickness so we can simply just say project and project this into a plane so what this tool does is that it projects the geometry into a plane so i'm going to say project and we're the default is xy so you can see that it's going to project this on the ground but I'm going to say XZ direction and give this to the plane. So uh, extract the origin of the XZ plane. You can see the default is 000. So this is the plane. And I'm going to just move the uh, origin of this. So it's going to be projected into the XY plane, which is actually this plane. Okay, so now we can simply just connect these two set of curves into one. I'm going to add a curve so you can see what's happening here. But you can actually use these two outputs and now we can just say loft and use the shift key to uh, connect them like this at the end we can simply just extrude them in the z direction so uh, we're going to say exactly the same distance of the contour distance here so i'm going to connect this to the z direction and now you can see that this is just making the solids let's just bake this and close this one and now you can see that this is bringing us the results so you can see how easy it is to uh, just make something similar to this image with grasshopper and we can always just let's just delete this and give this a direction as i just told you so we can rotate this okay and give this uh, into a curve input and connect this to the direction and here we go you can see that we can also produce that so i guess distance is going to be changed on the on here so maybe we have to correct this but you can see that i have the results here which is simply this one so let's just say go to the rendered result and you can see the results so this is a way you can use uh, grasshopper let's just go back and use the z direction because we want that in the z direction and uh, produce the results you can always change the distance you can see if i increase that that's going to give you bigger results and it's going to make the steps more visible so if i bake this uh, you can see that the results are more visible because we are just jumping on the geometry each with each steps and give it uh, giving it more height so this was the tutorial of how you can make a simple a contour tool and extrusion on a surface you can always change the surface or uh, use your 
design surface to produce the results and uh, get the model something similar to this image. And thank you for watching. Thank you.